Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another PS4 Jailbreak video. So today we've got something special, the triumphant return of the Mastercore exploit. So the original Mastercore exploit uses a vulnerability in the game Okage Shadow King to load PS2 ELF files, which could then be used to sideload PlayStation 2 games on the PS4 and PS5. That was the original use case of this exploit. But now we can actually use it to jailbreak the PS4 using the new Lapscore version, which is by D-Link Turtle that uses this exploit to load the lapse kernel exploit to jailbreak the PS4. And it's pretty similar to the Lua exploit with the Japanese games where you use this game Okage Shadow King to load a modified save file that then exploits the console. Now the issue with this is that if you actually want to use this to jailbreak your console, you do have to have a licensed copy of this game Okage Shadow King on your console and be on an old enough firmware that is supported. So don't be under any kind of illusion here. This exploit is not going to be one that is going to affect many people. It's only really going to be useful for a very tiny portion of people who still have a copy of this game licensed on their consoles. It is a very niche exploit for that reason, but uh, still something that I think is interesting and worth covering here on the channel. So in terms of what's needed for this, we need the actual lap score project here. Laps plus master core equals lap score. So as you can see, it supports firmwares currently from 9.00 up to 11.00, although other higher firmwares are on the to-do list up to 12.02. So it should hopefully work up to 12.02 in a future release. But for now, it's only up to 11.00 firmwares that are supported. And the PS5 is also on the to-do list because the PS5 is also affected by this exploit. So it may get ported to the PS5 at some point in the future. So anyway, if we head into the releases section, we can go ahead and download the Lapscore zip file here. And of course, we also need to download the Gold Hen payload that we're going to be executing with this exploit to jailbreak our console. Again, you can just enter zero here if you just want to get the download, if you don't want to leave a donation. Obviously, I encourage donations, but otherwise, if you just want the download, you can enter zero and click get now and you'll still be able to get it downloaded. So once we have that copied over to our computer, we also need the save file that we're also going to load onto the game so that it can load the save file that runs the exploit. So there's two versions of the save file. There's the USB loader. These are from Macaulay, the original developer behind this exploit. So you've got his uh, USB ELF loader and the network loader. The network loader lets you send the payloads over the network to execute. And of course, the USB loader loads them off a USB drive, which is what I'm going to use because I think that is generally the easier option. So if we open up the Lapscore zip file and go into the bin folder, we have the different ELF files to load the exploit on the various different supported firmwares. So my PS4 is on 10.01 firmware right now. So that's the ELF file that I'm going to extract to my desktop. That's the one I'm going to use. So pick the ELF file that corresponds to your PS4's firmware version and we should be good there. So in order to get the USB drive in the correct format, we're going to use Rufus software to format the USB. It's very important that we get the USB drive in the MBR partition scheme master boot record because if it's GPT, it will not work. Even if it's formatted in the correct format, the USB loader will not detect the ELF files on the USB drive if it's not using master boot record. So we need to make sure that is set so we can use Rufus for this. So if we open up Rufus, and we've got our device here. If I list USB hard drives, it will show all of the USB drives, including external uh, drives as well, uh, external hard drives. So we're going to select our USB drive up here, select boot selection on non-bootable, and then make sure the partition scheme is MBR. That is the requirement. And then also that the file system is set to XFAT, not FAT32 for this. It needs to be XFAT. And then we can go ahead and click start and reformat. Again, warning, all data on the device will be erased. So make sure you back up any data on the USB drive before you reformat it. And then we can click OK to reformat the drive. And that will set it to the correct uh, partition scheme and format. So once that's done, we can open up the USB drive itself here, delete these files that Rufus creates. And then we can simply take our gold hen payload. So open this up in 7-zip, extract goldhen.bin to the root of the USB drive. And also we need to create an ELFS folder in the root of the USB drive as well, not inside any folders. So it needs to be ELF in uppercase characters and then the S is a lowercase character. I believe it is case sensitive. So go ahead and enter that in there and then open up that folder and copy your payload, your ELF file, your PS2 ELF file that loads the jailbreak for your firmware version and copy it into that folder. And that's how you get the USB prepared to load the exploit. Okay, but we still need to get the modified save file 
uh, installed on our console that can then use the game to run the exploit. So that is the next task. So what we're going to do is first of all run the game and get it loaded so that we can create a base save file. So I'm just going to create a new save on this game. To begin with it starts off with a bunch of uh, dialogue that you have to skip through. So just skip through all the initial dialogue at the beginning. Once you're able to freely move around we're going to exit out of the kitchen here and then head upstairs to this room. And then if you go through this door head to the end of the corridor and then go through this door and that will take you to the area that you can save your game and just select from the option to create a new save and select the first save option and that will create a new base save for the game that we're going to replace with our exploit save so what we're going to do at this point is just close out of the game head over to the settings go to application save data management make sure you have your usb drive connected and we're going to of course go to save data in system storage copy to usb storage and then select the save file that we just created to copy it over to the USB. So go ahead and do that and allow it to copy the save and that will get it copied over to the USB drive. Now there's a few different ways that we can get the save file installed. We can either use another jailbroken PS4 with the Apollo save tool or we can use the free Discord save bots. I'm just going to use currently the another PS4 to do this because it's faster. So in order to use another jailbroken PS4 to create the save for you, there's a few requirements. Obviously that PS4 needs to be running the jailbreak and have access to the Apollo save tool application here. And you also want to make sure that the account that you're using on this PS4 is activated with the same account ID as the account that is on the other PS4 that you're creating the save file for. In my case, that is user four. So with that, we should be ready to go. So if it is activated with the same account ID, when you plug in your USB drive and you go to USB saves, the save that you copied to the USB from the other PS4 should show up in here if it is activated with the correct account ID. So we're going to select it with X and then select the option to copy save game to HDD to copy it to the hard drive. Once that's done, we can press circle twice to head back out to the main menu and then go into the HDD save section. And then you should see the save file showing up in here. So we'll press X on it and then we will copy it back to the USB drive. And this will actually copy the decrypted save file to the USB drive so that we can swap out the save with our modified one. So now we can just plug in that USB drive back into our computer. So plugging the USB drive back into the computer, we've got our PS4 folder and then we have the Apollo folder which contains our decrypted version of the save file. And we have this vmc0.card file which is the file that we need to replace. So we've got the Mastercore exploit save for the network version and the USB version. The USB ELF loader is the one we're using here in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that one. And we've got our PS4 folder and then all of the different firmwares that are supported. So you just select the folder that corresponds to your PS4 firmware version. In my case, I'm actually using a 10.01 system. So I believe I just use the 10.0 version here. So I'll go ahead and grab this vmc0.card and then just drag it into the decrypted folder and replace the file in the destination to get the modified save file copied over there. And then all we need to do is simply turn that back into an encrypted save by plugging in that USB drive back into the PS4, the jailbroken PS4 with the Apollo save tool. And then on the Apollo save tool, we'll go back into USB saves. We'll press square to refresh and we should now see a second version show up that does not have the padlock symbol on it. So that's the one you want to select. That's the decrypted version of the save that we replaced. And then we're going to copy that to the HDD and then that gets the save installed on this PS4. And now we just need to transfer the encrypted version of the save back to the USB drive by closing out of the Apollo save tool, heading into settings, going down to application save data management, save data in system storage, and copy to USB storage device. Select the save file for the game and copy it over. And that will get the encrypted version of the save copied over there. And then finally, the last thing we need to do is just copy the save file from the USB drive to the PS4 that we're actually trying to jailbreak with this. So we just plug that USB drive into the other PS4, go to application save data management again, save data in USB storage this time and copy it to the system storage of that PS4. And that gets our modified save file copied over. Of course, the other option is to use the free Discord save bots like the HTOS Discord server, which I'll leave a link to down in the video description. You can join that server and head to the HTO section and then simply find a save bot that is active 
and then you can click get started or create instance and that will go ahead and create a new thread and then you can use the forward slash decrypt command to decrypt the save file that you basically upload to google drive and then once you get the decrypted save data you can swap it out and then simply re-upload the decrypted save data to google drive and then use the encrypt command on the save bot to encrypt the save file using that decrypted save by providing a link to the original save file along with a link to the decrypted save and then obviously also upload the SCE system contents as well and then that will go ahead and re-encrypt the save file so that's another way that you can do it using free discord save bots without having to have another jailbroken PS4 so that's a couple of ways that you can get the modified decrypted save turned into a working save for your console so let's go ahead and give this a try so we're going to run Okage Shadow King we'll tell it to update later So the save file does not trigger on launch of the game. It triggers when you go to restore uh, your current progress. So if we press the start button, we select restore game and this should then run the remote loader. Now, sometimes this does crash, but in this case it worked. There we go. So it now says, do you want to load the Mastercore Laps ps 4 10.01.elf, uh, which of course is D-Link Turtles elf file that then runs the jailbreak. So I'm gonna say yes to run it and we'll see what happens. Okay, this time it was actually pretty fast here. We actually get the PP pwned message showing up and then the payload transferred from the USB to the hard drive and then executed. And we now have Gold Hen successfully loaded using the Mastercore exploit. Payload successfully loaded now showing up. So we do in fact have this working. Our 10.01 system has been jailbroken using this game uh, rather than you know any of the other methods. We can actually jailbreak using this laps core exploit. Another indication that the exploit is loaded is that your controller will start lighting up like a Christmas tree. Although once you exit the game, it will go back to normal. So if I go ahead and exit now, you can see we've got our gold hen cheats menu showing up and we can close out of the application and it should be good. So we're not crashing anymore, which was one of the issues with the original uh, version is that it was unstable. That stability seems to have been resolved now and we're no longer crashing. So yeah, we're actually stable running Gold Hen with this exploit. And as you can see, we've got the Gold Hen menu loaded. So we have fully jailbroken our PS4 on 10.01 firmware using the Lapscore exploit from D-Link Turtle. Okay, so now let's take a quick look at the network loader. So I've gone ahead and swapped out the save file for the network loader version of this exploit. So if we go ahead and uh, wait till this loads up, we can press the start button. I'll restore game. And when I select restore game, instead of loading from the USB, we'll get waiting for a PS2 elf payload. So that's waiting on the network. So on my computer, I can just use the Mastercore elf loader, which will be linked in the description. We can just run this program and then we select the file, which is going to be our laps elf file. So I have to select it here. So I'll go ahead and select it right here and open it. And then finally, we also need to enter the IP address of our PS4. So 192.168.137.80 in this case. And we'll go ahead and click load. And when I click the load button here, what will happen on the PS4 is it should try and load that elf file. So there it goes, it executed it. And now it is basically running the exploit or attempting to run the exploit. Pretty cool project by D-Link Turtle, allowing us to actually use this old exploit here to actually run the jailbreak. If you still happen to have a copy of Okage Shadow King licensed on your PS4 and you're on a compatible firmware, uh, you should be good to go. Hopefully other firmwares as well in the future. So yeah, anyway, just wanted to cover that real quick. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe as always, and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.